session we will discuss about the root locus technique in the jet plane how to draw a root locus in jet plane we have already know that how to draw the root locus in s plane now for discrete time control systems we are going to draw the root locus in z plane consider this open loop for a open loop system whose characteristic equation is so and so that means 1 plus k into your open loop transfer function 1 plus gh of z this is your characteristic equation the characteristic equation so locate the open loop poles and zeros first step locate the open loop poles and zeros that means in the jet plane you locate where the poles and zeros say like this first locate the open loop poles and zeros first step number one next find the number of starting points and the terminating points where the root locus starts so generally root locus starts at open loop poles open loop poles it starts at open loop poles and <clears throat> it should terminate at open loop zero the first preference is it should terminate at zero if any zero is not there then only it will go to infinity so these are about the starting points and terminating points next the number of root locus branches and the number of root locus branches number of root locus branches n is equal to either p or z whichever is greater suppose if the number of poles is greater than number of zeros then your number of root locus branches will be number of poles either p or z whichever is greater that is the step number two now coming to step number three find the existence of root locus on the real axis find the existence of root locus on real axis how to find see say this is the real axis suppose the poles are zeros are like this i got like this suppose if the root locus lies that means exist on the real axis means when it exists means the condition is if you take any test point on that line suppose I, this is the line between these two i want to check whether the root locus exists or not you take any checkpoint you, ta you take any uh, test point on this line to the right of the section total number of poles and zeros should be an odd number for the existence of root locus on real axis the condition is total number of poles and zeros to the right of that section must be odd number so to the right right of the section means you consider the extreme left so to the right how many one two three three poles and zeros are there so definitely root locus lies between these two suppose if you want to check the root locus lying between these two sections so to the left means you close this one so to the right how many one two three four which is even number so root locus doesn't lie between these two next suppose if you want to the check the existence of root locus between minus infinity to this pole to the left of the section this is the extreme left so to the right means 1 2 3 4 5 odd number so root locus lies between these two it means for the existence of root locus on real axis total number of poles and zeros to the right of that section must be odd number next to find the asymptotes of the root locus angle of asymptotes asymptotes means approximation of root locus as gain k tends to infinity right so the, to find the angles the formula is 180 by p minus z that means number of poles minus number of zeros into 2k plus 1 where the values of k takes from k equal to 0 1 2 etc up to p minus z minus 1 right next intersection of asymptotes that is the centroid it is also known as centroid where the asymptotes will intersect so sigma p minus sigma z by p minus z sigma p nothing but sum of the location of the poles where they are located sum minus sum of the location of the zeros where they are located divided by number of poles minus number of zeros next finding the breakaway points where the root locus breaks away suppose on this real axis two poles are there so the root locus is starting from this point and root locus starting from this point so definitely at somewhere the root locus is going to break away so how to find that point means using the relation dk by dz is equal to 0 so in the characteristic equation 1 plus gh of z so you write k is equal to something so dk by dz the derivative of the z should be 
zero. Why? Because as as far as this section is concerned, the value of k is maximum at that point. That's why dk by dz is uh, set to zero. From that, you solve the equation and get the breakaway points. Next step: determine the angle of departure and angle of arrival. Suppose in your problem, if complex poles, complex conjugate poles or complex conjugate zeros are there, in that case, this angle of departure and angle of arrival will exist. So to find the angle of departure, 180 minus 5p means the angle subtended by the remaining poles. 5z means the angle subtended by the remaining zeros, at which you have to find the departure angle. So similarly, angle of arrival is equal to 180 plus 5p minus 5z. 180 plus 5p minus 5z. This is angle of arrival. Next, find the points where the root locus crosses the imaginary axis. So check the points where your root locus crosses the imaginary axis. So let us take an example to do all these constructional details. Take this example. Draw the root locus diagram in the jet plane. For the system shown in figure, for sampling period t is equal to one second. So you may be asked to draw the root locus for different values of the sampling periods. T equal to one second, point five seconds, or two seconds also. Take this closed loop system. Hold circuit is given, zero order hold. Then your plant. Then G of is nothing but together these two. We find the transfer function G of Z for this first one. That is. 1 minus z inverse into z transform of k by s square into s plus 1. Just now we have seen. So 1 by s square minus 1 by s plus 1 by s plus 1 using partial fractions. Then convert it to time domain and obtain the z transforms. So on simplification and substituting t is equal to 1 second, I got the transfer function as this one. G h of z is equal to some g of z is equal to 0.3679 k z plus 0.7181. Z minus 1 into Z minus 0.3679. Now, let us draw the root locus. See, first locate the open loop poles and zeros where they are located. Where they are located, I will show here. Locate the open loop poles and zeros. Z equal to 1. So, Z equal to 1, there is an open loop. Pole. Then z equal to 0.3679. There is one more pole. There is one more pole. Next, z is equal to minus 0.7181. There is a zero. There is a zero. Minus 7, 0.7181. Next, how many root locus branches are the first? Where the root locus starts? Root locus starts from open loop poles and terminate set open loop zeros so two open loop poles are there so two uh, starting points one two and where it will terminate since there is any only one open loop zero one will go to that zero and one will go to infinity next number of root locus branches which is equal to n equal to p or z whichever is greater since here two poles are there two poles are there so number of root locus branches will be Next, existence of root locus on real axis. So, what is the condition? To the right of the section, total number of poles and zeros must be odd number. Suppose if you consider this section, to the right there is no pole and zero, so no root locus. If you consider the section between these two, to the right of the section means there is one pole, so root locus exists between these two. So, starting point, so I have drawn arrow like this. Next, between these two, so, 0, close this 0 to the right, 2 poles, uh, even number, so no root locus. Then between 0 to infinity, you close at minus infinity, to the right means 1, 2, 3. 3 poles and zeros, so root locus exists between minus infinity to 0. So, 1 will go towards 0, 1 will go towards infinity. Let us check. Next, find the breakaway points. If you do, do dk by dz, dk by dz so from this characteristic equation 1 plus gz of g 1 plus 1 plus gh of z or g of z equal to 0 
and you will get k is equal to here I have written so k is equal to z minus 1 into z minus 0.367 by so and so so if you do in differentiation with respect to z dk by dz and equal to 0 then the breakaway point is 1 at 0 0.6479 this is one breakaway point 0 0.6 0 0.6 Six four seven nine and one breakaway point at minus two point zero eight four one minus two point zero eight four one. So it breaks here, break away, and it breaks in here. See how to draw the root locus. So this is your root locus. It starts from here and it breaks into two sections, and they will again break in here. And after this, one will go towards your zero. One will go towards your infinity negative infinity so this is your root locus now how to find the value of gain k the value of gain k at any point on the root locus suppose i want to find the stability margins what is the value of k for the system to be stable what is the stability condition for a system all the closed loop poles must lie inside the unit circle so first draw the unit circle so this is one so i will draw the unit circle here draw the unit circle right so if you consider this portion this portion is lying inside the unit circle so from beyond this this is lying out of the unit circle the system is going to be unstable for this value beyond this value of k that means find the value of k here so for k greater than that value the system is going to be unstable since the loops the closed loop poles are going to be lying outside of the unit circle so how to find that value of k so in your expression so for the characteristic equation 1 plus g of z equal to 0 that means g of z is equal to minus 1 take the magnitude criteria magnitude of g of z must be equal to 1 so magnitude of g of z i have equated to 1 and from this k so take this particular point z here take this particular point z and get substitute here then you will get the value of k as 2.3925 that means for the system to be stable the value of k must be less than 2.3925 then only the roots will going to lie inside the unit circle inside the unit circle so for k greater than 2.325 the roots are lying outside of the unit circle the system will be unstable so this is how the root locus is drawn in jet plane so with this i conclude the topic uh, how to draw a root locus in jet plane thank you thank you very much